Hey guys, Harrison one one I'm back at once again with a brand new video for you, and it's time for our another Formula 1 2012 race review, this time from Korea. I'll be honest, not the most entertaining race in the world, but again, what can you do sometimes? Korea's not built for excitement, really. But, it was a third race in a row, and a hat-trick of victories for Sebastian Vettel, as he dominated the field and led every single lap en route to a very solid race victory. Um, he, he won pretty much from the first corner. Webber was not off the line well. Vettel got the jump on him into turn one and used his curse to defend into turn two off the massive straight and was pretty much unbeatable from there. However, the start did claim a couple of victims. Jensen Button was tagged by Sergio Perez and then by Kamui Kobayashi after he outbroke himself going into turn two. The, the broken suspension um, and, and tyre on Jensen's car ruled him out of the race. Kamui Kobayashi got a drive-through penalty. He would later retire. Other main highlights, Nico Hulkenberg's superb double pass on Romain Grosjean and Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton struggled all week. Hamilton struggled all race long. Apparently, his um, I think it was either his roll bar or his suspension was broken for the entire race, and he just struggled the whole way through. In the last five laps or so, he ran over the AstroTurf on the side of the track and that oh, that messed up his downforce horribly. Almost gave up the last World Championship point to Sergio Perez in, it, in a dogfight at the end of the race. But uh, Hamilton would limp over the line in 10th. Here's the full rundown. Sebastian Vettel wins. His teammate Mark Webber in second place. A fantastic Red Bull shutout. But solid points again for Fernando Alonso in third. Felipe Massa in 4th, Kimi Raikkonen in 5th, again another solid drive, drive from Kimi Raikkonen. Nico Hülkenberg in 6th place, I think that's his best result of the season so far. Romain Grosjean in 7, Jean-Éric Verne in 8th place, he made the one-stop strategy work very well for him in the end. And a very solid 4 points ahead of the Australian Daniel Ricciardo, my driver of the day, started 21st, finished 9th and in the points. A fantastic drive from the young Australian. And Lewis Hamilton limped over the line in 10th. The four retirements, Pedro de la Rosa, who was retired for safety reasons. Um, uh, Kamui Kobayashi, who pretty much gave up. Um, <laughs> Nico Rosberg and Jensen Button. Um, Fosses lap in a race went to Mark Webber on the, f on the second to last lap. Um, looking at the World Championship standings as of right now. Sebastian Vettel now leads the World Drivers Championship with 215 points. He is six points up on Fernando Alonso. Kimi Raikkonen now 48 points back in third on 167. Lewis Hamilton 153. Mark Webber 152. And Jensen Button 131. Everybody else is now officially out of the running. So it's only six guys left in the title race. And I think everyone up to Hamilton now, I think, is pretty much out of it. I think even Lewis Hamilton admitted, you know what, it's not going to happen this year. He's too far back. I mean, you look at you look at the standings, and you see Lewis Hamilton is 62 points back from Vettel with only 100 available. It's going to be real tough for him here on in. And announced immediately after the race, Sauber have signed Nico Hülkenberg for the 2013 season. Once again, that man, Eddie Jordan does it again and correctly calls a driver moving places seriously eddie jordan is amazing he just he just has this knack of finding the information that us fans love to know and it's even better now he's a respected broadcaster as well as um former team boss he knows who to talk to he knows who to, you know he knows how to get there and he's, he's done a fantastic job of that and uh, yeah, I highly recommend you check out the F1 forum as well from BBC because uh, you get to see all of the BBC team learn how to dance Gangnam style. It is career after all. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed this quick review and I will catch you guys tomorrow for part 5 of our Champions Mode series as I take on the, two, the double world champion of 2005 and 2006, Fernando Alonso. Until then, I'll catch you next time. I've been Harrison101, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. Sayonara.